Um, Chuck, uh, this this is for you. Um, I'll demonstrate how I identify iron, okay? So we've got the V3, I've ground balanced it. Um, now, with the discrimination at 12, when you have the low frequency uh, double D configuration coils, putting your discrimination at 12 will knock out um, small to relatively large iron, right? and it's unmistakable. You're not going to dig it, even if you're using standard audio, because you've got to remember that iron on the V3 does not light this meter up. Um, only non-ferrous uh, targets will, will light the meter up. But, and I've, ri I've written this in my blogs, that when you get a false signal forcing on the edge of iron, you get a visual representation of the forcing. So that means that you're going to get a hit on the light meter because it's a visual representation of forcing. It doesn't mean it's a non-ferrous target. But um, when you're in standard audio, it's easy to get fooled. So what I've done, I've brought my discrimination down. I'd never use it this low with a DD coil, yeah? Never use it this low, but I brought it down to try to mimic um, what I'm going to try and explain. So standard audio coming in like that, nothing's coming through look nothing but i've set the discrimination low enough to so it's forcing on either side there we go look now if you didn't know any better and you haven't used the machine you'll be you think it's a non-ferrous target and then you dig it and you find that it's iron so then you're like oh you know maybe the discrimination isn't working it is but with the VCO, there's a whole reason for the VCO tones. You know, it's a, this is what sets this apart from the V2. So what I do, I'll switch my VCO tones on. I put it at about one o'clock like that. Now, now, now let's listen and we get more information from this. So you're getting that iron tone and you're getting the false, yeah? Firstly, if you rotate where you're getting the high tone, you can't isolate it. Yeah, you can't isolate where you're getting the high tone. That tells you it's iron. But then the other thing that I do, and like I said, with discrimination at 12, you shouldn't have too much trouble, but I understand that iron that's been in the ground for hundreds of years, you know, might respond slightly differently. We, I can't replicate that. I can only try and demonstrate it, you know, above the ground. So just say you're getting a signal like that. With iron, the low tone will always come first, yeah? So what I do, look. On the side of the coil, you're getting your low tone first, yeah? And then if we go to the other side, you're getting your low tone first. And then it will start to come into false. So it's low to high, see? So if you get a signal like this, just listen to it. You've got, you've got a non-ferrous tone and the RGB meter is responding. but it's always coming in with a low tone first. Now, if I'm out in the fields and I get a signal like this, look, you can, you go over it, isolate it, and then just on the edge there, look, you, that tells you it's iron. And you can do that on either edge. So you're always going to get the low tone. Now if you put, that's an old copper, probably a Georgian one, toasted. Look, there's no mistaking a non-ferrous hit. I mean, yeah, there's no mistaking that. You know, you, ha you don't have a low tone 
you can isolate it. Look, the response on the meter is real sweet. I can lift that right up still and get it, but. You see, you can almost mimic a slightly deeper, the VCO can mimic the audio of a slightly deeper target. Let me turn the volume up a bit. See, that VCO will never, never be wrong. It will always identify stuff correctly. Now, let's do that. Put that back. And now we're doing it at distance. So you, now that, when you, our excuse. <laughs> <laughs> you can almost visualize the size and shape of that iron. There's a thick bit at the end, and then that's telling you that there's a sharp end or a point. But you can clearly hear that that's not um, a non-ferrous target. See? Low tone. Now, if I put it up to where I have my normal discrimination, you're not really going to be, there's nothing to get confused about. Okay? So, practice with the VCO tone, because they're awesome, and it allows you to understand so much more. But, just to throw something into the mix, when it comes to masked targets, take note the double D low frequency isn't really designed for major unmasking. Then you've got a, but you can hear that that's a definite non-ferrous hit. That's not a false. You can tell the difference. You've got that, that solid punch. But these are just scenarios to, to get the audio in your mind. Get it in your mind. That's completely different to... Oh, hang on, let me turn the discrimination down a bit. Completely different if you've got a target on the edge of iron. See? It leaps out at you. So, yeah, I hope that helps. That's how I do it.